and this is the thing also you know people always want to take pictures with you you know this guy hello today we will be showing you guys the rural area in Moscow and how we the locals do spend our holidays I uh, know that the Americans you guys are very good in doing your barbecues and your electrical stuff and uh, yeah so I'm gonna show you guys today uh, how we uh, go around with our barbecue vodkas and you know just have a nice weekend today is Friday so uh, yeah if you're new here my name is Ralph and if it's your first time here kindly click the subscribe button below so you don't miss future videos I need to drive now so let's go hi I guess I haven't said this before Moscow is building circles we are now leaving the last circle in the center in the peripheral of Moscow so uh, just take a look it's called the M Amkat in Russia so if you drive when we leave out of this Amkat we can drive 130 kilometers minimum there is that saying that a lot of the Russians are so wealthy every Russian has an apartment and a kind of a countryside house most do over 50 percent do have an apartment because in the Soviet period you were actually giving it for free and now you can you have to buy them but now most build their houses out of the city and have a, a which they stay in the weekends and summer some do leave here permanent pack this is where we are going to have the barbecue so um yeah i don't need to show the address you don't show addresses of people's houses on youtube that's something you need to know from the first day i will make a b-roll on the countryside it's so beautiful you will love it you will love it i believe it because i love it and i think you will as well standing here waiting for the train to cross the train has just crossed and uh, now we can go this is the russia i know this is the real russia not moscow if you live in moscow to europe to berlin you you must bypass these rails Guys, I'm at the city by name Bibi River, it's out of Moscow, like 80 kilometers out of Moscow. We're now going to the market. This is Salon Sveti in green, which means flower house. Let's check it out. What flowers are inside? Generally, Russian women love flowers, and uh, yeah, today we are buying flowers. But... So we are not here for flowers, we won't do it today. But you see the way it is. Mushna Pajosta. Dai Palavina Bush Pajosta, I need to sell. The vector of Malinki, we don't get a Malinki. The Javidur Malinki, the 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 <laughs> this is my friend. Как вам зовут? Серо. Серо, which is Serge, Sergey, да? Не называй меня так. А, Серож, Серож, очень приятно с вами. Давай, до свидания. Давай. So you have these guys. <laughs> you will always have, have a lot of uh, of um, no drunkards here. It's normal. One second. And this is the thing also, you know, people always want to take pictures with you. You know, this guy is trying to take pictures with you because you don't have, you have very few blacks around here. This is a good example why you live, uh, you, 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 this is exa the example that very few blacks in, in Russian region. So everybody sees you and you become like a superstar. But sometimes it's very annoying because I'm not a superstar. Я хочу маленький картошку, который маленький, чтобы я... Нету, нету, нет, который, чтобы сварить сразу. Вот на рынок, да? На рынок, да? Ну ладно. А вы откуда? Я... Я африканский. Ну, Африка большая. Я из Камерун, короче. Вот. She's a very wealthy woman. 
she just asked if I'm from where I said I'm, I'm from Cameroon. This is the first person I've met who, who never said I was from the US. I'm an African and I'm proud to be so. So let's go to the market. I need some, some borredos, which is potatoes. Unusual deal in Moscow because we don't have this hot weather very often. So we need to take total advantage of it. This is the pedestrian crossing. I just want to show you how things have changed in Russia. The cars have stopped and this also hasn't stopped <laughs> but but mostly the cars have stopped which which is progress when i came here 10 years ago it was crazy no one would stop even on the pedestrian crossing but now you see there have been this massive improvement in that sense so we have less death in in, in the country so let's go to the market by the way this is how the russian markets looks like not russian but uh the small areas, cities, the, the sub cities market look like. Хочу молодой каточка, маленький который есть. А половине можно? Не пистолет, это просто камера за себя. Можно половине? Можно, конечно. Половине, хорошо? Хорошо. А это можно хороший? Сколько они? Они дорогие. Сколько? О, у меня сердце болит. А ну давай мы это не надо. А это что, почем? Подышим. Что-нибудь есть еще? Или арбуз так вам? Нет, дай мне это один. Дай мне хороший это. Почем они? Хорошо, по-русски язык, да? Да, спасибо. А можно что-нибудь салоне? So I I will explain you guys this. This is like uh, cucumber put in in salt in kind of vinegar water. It's very tasty. It's very traditional. What they do normally in Russia is, it's very important to know. It's very important to know this. This vinegar. This is plus. Oh, say hello, давай. Hello. Hello. This is hello. Hello. So these are, these are actually not Russian. Moscovites. They are from really the eastern part of Russia. But they come and join, help the work forces in Russia. So, yeah. I was telling you guys about this. This is um, cucumber. If you can see clearly which has stayed like for three months in vinegar it's actually preserved during the winter because we have crazy winters here it's actually preserved in the winter and you can eat them in the summer some if i'm making sense it's preserved in the summer and you can eat them in the winter that that's all the point so it's really tasty and uh, i have to get some now mushna is this dua it's any salon it's salon I don't need salt, so I, I will take this. And uh, she basically gave me this as a present for free. <laughs> so uh, we have free people. We have uh, not free, but nice people in Russia as well. So these are the two ladies who. Hello, <laughs> hello. They're inviting you viewers to come on this way. <laughs> So uh, that's a good thing. That's a good side of Russia. Traditional way of of uh, Caucasian shashlik here is what shashlik, which is barbecue. You buy cucumbers. So you can see them again here. This has been for salty water or vinegar. It was used during the World War to help a lot of soldiers, and uh, and this as well. So I have my potatoes ready, already. And uh, I bought some meat. Sorry, I didn't make a video of it, but um, I will show you guys when uh, when I start preparing it. This is Daniel. This is Daniel. This is Daniel. This is Daniel. Yeah. So, so you see, you, you, you sometimes you can be lucky and meet some very friendly people. So today in this video, I know there are some top days, but uh, in everywhere we live shooting killing racism but uh there are some nice people as well so it's very important to, to make that point that there are some nice people everywhere we go in life so this is we're like a hundred kilometers out of moscow and we are being treated in a very fair and vip manner yeah we go on the crossing again and we can change we can do the exams you see the car has stopped and uh I'm on the zebra line. It is a massive progress. You will never believe massive, massive progress. I mean, ten years ago, you could you could get killed just crossing the road because no one, no one really cared. So, guys, hey, so we have just made the 
the fire actually for the shashlik so I will take you guys there to take a look at it normally there you have the charcoal which is dust and uh, normally a match and uh, kerosene oh, sorry, it's not electric Our American viewers is not electric in Russia we do it raw yeah so <laughs> that's just how it is so you can take a look it's getting warmer you know so uh, yeah we will uh, this is how we, get, we what we have everything is in place and what we do is we place it on the shackle Whatever the case is, you guys know the name, the name Shashlik already, which is Shashlik, which is barbecue in Russia. So that's progress. So this is how what how it is made. You can see it's generally. Let me go this way. So it's generally lovely, isn't it? The end product will be really tasty indeed, and I'll get you guys to get a look. Well, we are lucky. This is a really pretty stuff. It's sold here in Russia. It's uh, really natural. If I open this, it's going to be really windy and you don't need to like blow it up. So, by, by the way, this is what the Caucasian style of making barbecue. Caucasian, for those who don't know, we call them in Russia Kafka. So they are really specialists in this. For those who have visited Russia, they understand what I'm talking about. They have the best. I'm not sure if it's going to be as tasty as what they do, but I just wanted to show you guys how we do shashli, which is very, very, very interesting yeah so uh, I need to show you guys how you test the shashlik the shashlik with the barbecue to know if it's ready in order to know whether it's ready you need to give a slice like this and if there is no blood then it is okay it's, it's getting okay. it's getting ready there is a little bit of blood here and you can just like do it the same in all the, the slices because the intensity of the of the heat is not actually even so you always need to do that you could even give a bite but i don't think it's not ready yeah I, I don't want to take that every hey look this sounds looks fresh here yeah, it's fresh and you can get a bite Pretty okay, but I think it needs five more minutes to get ready. So, so guys, that's basically the techniques on how to do Russian Caucasian barbecue. So tasty, and um, you, you, we were gonna eat it not only like that. We would, we eat it with uh, potatoes, the younger small potatoes. They're all inside. It, uh, sorry, it's not a cooking stuff, but they're all inside here, so we eat it today. But you can do it with bread, you can do it with whatever, with, with plantains, rind plantains. There, in Russia, we'll do that, we'll do it that, with that, and with some cucumber, bread, ketchup, and mayonnaise, whatever sauce you have. Very hot African pepper, that's what I'm going to use it. So, um, yeah, let me just go on my job and we'll show you guys the end product. Yeah, in a typical rural Russia, shashlik, as I said is uh, actually it goes along with vodka but i don't do vodka generally so i'm on my wine and uh, i think you guys have enough information on how to make uh this this i don't want to say soviet but let me say caucasian barbecue and uh yeah we need to start to eat now and uh, I'll just say cheers to you guys and hope to see you soon. If you did like this content, you can clearly subscribe or I mean share the, the video or maybe like it. Well, see you later. Cheers. Bye bye. It's a good Spanish, I think it's an Italian wine.